Hi there, my name is Nuvola and welcome to another video. This week's video is the automatic pumpkin farm. It's October, so it's autumn and that means it's also the month of Halloween and pumpkins. It should work on Java and Bedrock Edition and you can find the material list in the description below. Anyway, without further ado, let's go! Here you can see the layout of the build and as you can see I already filled in the floor using stripped spruce and spruce planks. Do note that the floor inside is one block lower than the ground outside. We're going to start off by placing stripped spruce columns in each corner four blocks high. On the front side of the build you can fill in the wall using mushroom stem blocks and use a polished diorite stair upside down to create a doorway. Now for some more detail you can replace some of the mushroom stem blocks by diorite blocks or polished diorite. You can also use calcite or white wool for example. Grab some dark oak stairs Place these along the entrance like this. Place down dark oak trap doors on top on both sides. Then place stairs right here with dark oak slabs on top. Make your way to the side by placing an upside down dark oak stair here with a trapdoor on top and a slab next to it and two slabs in the corner right here. Do this on the other side as well. And to finish off the front you can place a door like this. Now for the sides and the back wall. You can use a mix of mushroom stem blocks with polished and normal diorite as well. You want to leave some space for a window with a spruce fence. On both of the sides and the back of the build also want to create a bay window using the dark oak stairs and slabs. But you can use a couple of grass blocks in front of the window and some dark oak trapdoors in front of those to create a little bit of space for plants or for some carrots for example. Make your way around the build by repeating this two more times. Then make your way inside and place two double chests in the corner right here. Place a hopper facing into the lowest chest below the upper chest and then place a hopper on top of the top chest and another one on top of that one and create a little platform out of hoppers. At the same level as these hoppers, place redstone blocks in both corners. Because now we are going to create a rail which will travel from one of these blocks all the way to the other side to the other redstone block. Fill in the platform using spruce planks, but create a line out of redstone blocks right here. We need these to place some extra powered rails to make sure that the hopper minecart makes it all the way to the other side and goes on infinitely. Place down your tracks over the hoppers and all the way to the other side. Now at the corners this can be a little bit finicky but in the end it should look like this. Now 
place down the hopper minecart and make sure that it makes it all the way to the other side and back. After that, create a platform out of dirt on top of the rail system. This is where we will grow our pumpkins. In the middle, remove one dirt and place a spruce stair here, waterlogged. This will keep all of the farmland hydrated and make the pumpkins grow faster. You can then plant your pumpkin seeds in a checkerboard pattern. It should look like this. And of course, plant your pumpkins. Now on top of each pumpkin seed or stem, place an observer facing downwards. So the red dot should be on top. Do this on top of each of the pumpkin stems. Now make your way into the middle with a trapdoor and a couple of pistons because this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You want to get underneath these observers and then place pistons in between each of them facing downwards. In the end, you should have one spot left above the waterlogged stairs. You can place a light source in here, otherwise your pumpkins won't grow in the end. After that, you can make your way out and you can place redstone dust on top of each piston. Then place a solid block on each of the observers. Your farm is now pretty much functional. Of course, each of the pumpkins must grow until there is a complete stem. But each time when the pumpkin stem grows one level, it gives off a signal which can be read by the observer. The redstone signal is then transferred into the solid block above it. And this triggers the redstone dust at the back of each of the pistons. So whenever a pumpkin grows, the piston will move and break the pumpkin block. The hopper minecart underneath can then pick it up and transfer it into your chests. Now let's finish the build by creating a roof. For the orange roof, we're going to use a mix of orange concrete, orange concrete powder, pumpkins and orange wool. Build up three levels behind all of the dark oak. So you want to enclose the pumpkin farm. And on the fourth level, place down five blocks. You should now be next to the solid blocks that are on top of each dispenser. You can then fill in the roof on the fifth level. Make your way towards the middle. And then fill in the middle using some green concrete and green terracotta. In the end, it should look like this. Using some leaves, you can decorate it a bit further. And because the whole theme about this building is orange, 
I decided to plant some carrots all around the build. Of course, don't forget to light it up using some lanterns on each side. Make it look a little bit more overgrown by placing some leaves at the side. Now for the interior, you can do pretty much whatever you like. You can create as much storage as you want. You can also house some villagers inside. All of your pumpkins are stored right here in these chests. Now you can create some extra storage or as I did you can place two villagers here to trade your pumpkins with for emeralds. And that's pretty much it. You're done already. Enjoy your new farm. Leave a like if you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any suggestions for future videos or questions about this one leave a comment down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Have a great day and see you in the next one. Cheers.